right after the Met Gala, uh, Kim Kardashian got on a private jet and flew to Hamburg, Germany, where she was on a panel for a digital marketing uh, uh, fair that was going on there. And there were protesters in the audience um, that had nothing to do with digital marketing, but people who are, uh, feel very strongly and passionately about what's happening in Gaza, and they wanted to be heard, and they were heard, and Kim had a reaction, a reaction that is now getting, getting her. A lot of heat. Yes, a little backlash, but here's what happened in Germany. Uh, the oh. protester continued, oh. yes. really, for uh, another 30, 40 seconds before any security ever got to her. But uh, that moment, and again, she didn't say a lot. No, but All it went viral was, very fast. Uh, at that moment, what you see in the, on camera, she just said, free everybody. And that went viral because, uh, as we have been saying, really, since October, uh, if you're in Hollywood and you say something on either side of the conflict between Israel and Hamas, uh, you are going to get some sort of backlash, and you it seems like you get even more backlash when you don't choose a side, which is mm -hmm. what happened here with Kim Kardashian. But and she did have a little bit more to say about this issue. Yeah, that's right. So I guess later on in the same segment or the same panel, she reportedly said, I sympathize with the people of Palestine and the people of Israel. I want everybody to be safe and free. Kind of echoing sort of the same sentiment she said here, which is basically both sizing it and not really taking a position. And honestly, a lot of people are kind of saying, oh, this is like saying all lives matter, sort of in the same vein. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but she's she is kind of like, oh, love for everybody.